Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you an awesome tool that you can use for your showdown reconnaissance, right? Using this tool, you will be able to query up to thousands request using showdown you don't need to uh, require any kind of uh, login username or password just need to download this tool and use it directly right and this tool is obviously free of cost so uh, stick with me and we're going to see that how we can use this tool but yeah before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now with that being said, let us get started. So now what we need to do is we need to open our browser like this and then we need to search for the tool. So don't worry, the link of this tool is given already in the description, right? But uh, you can just see what I'm doing right over here and download it directly. Just type Shodan X, okay, and then type GitHub. Otherwise, just need to click on the very first link, which is given in the description, and then you will be able to go to the repository, right? So you need to click on this particular tool. As you can see over here, Sanjay AK47, Shodan X, right? So just open this in new tab, and then you will be redirected to this web application, this repository, right? And you can see this is the tool that can be used to gather a lot of information about your target. It can be used to like do subdomain enumeration. It can be used to get the original IP address. Sometimes you can use those IP address to bypass the firewall and all those things, right? Let's try to scroll down and you can see that uh, the new module has been added also. Like it can do subdomain and CID ranges as well, right? And you can query up to a thousand uh, showdown requests, right? So which is very awesome. And you don't need to like give your uh, username and password. You just need to directly use this tool and you will be able to get all those results. You can see these are the options we have. We can use organization, so we can get information related to the organization. Then we can use this domain. So we can do a domain search to gather relevant data. We can do SSL. We can also search for SSL certificates that we can use to gather some more domains or you can say subdomains as well, right? We can also do subdomain enumeration. We can do CIDR, custom, and we can also update this tool, right? If there's new functionality that has been added in the tool, we can simply type showdown X update and this will update the tool right let us try to see that how we can install this tool into our machine so i'm just going to copy the link now okay and then what we need to do is we need to open our kali linux right so i'm going to use my wsl kali linux and by the way if you don't know how to install kali linux uh, in windows directly using wsl then go ahead and check out this video of mine the link of the video is also given in the description and you can see at the right side of the screen as well right so i'm just going to copy this let's try to go to the cmd and then once you have installed Kali Linux, what you simply need to do is you need to type Kali right over here. Let's wait for a few seconds and you'll see that you'll see that we've got this Kali Linux terminal right over here. All right. I'm just going to clear this out. And now the very first thing that we need to do is we need to install Python 3 and Python 3 pip, right? So if you don't have it installed, then you can just type sudo apt install python3 uh, python3 dash pip minus y and hit enter right just provide your root password and you will be able to install all these tools right once you have uh, installed python 3 and python 3 pip the last thing that you need to install is git okay because we are using this github so we need to clone this repository into our um, into our local machine or the kali machine for that we need to use git right so we can type sudo apt install git minus y Oh, sorry minus file like this you see that it is saying git is already the newest version which means that i already have git installed now what i can do is i can just copy this right from here and we can just type git space clone and we can just paste this like this okay hit enter and as you can see in my case it is giving this particular error which is if you read it carefully it says that shodan x is already exist and is not an empty directory the reason is that I already have installed this tool into my machine. That's why it is saying that Shodan X is already present, right? If I type ls, you'll see that we have this Shodan X right over here. For example, if I create a new directory, let's say uh, testing, and if I go to, to this directory and if I type git clone, and I'm going to paste this now, this time you'll see that the tool will get cloned, right? So as you can see, this tool has been cloned now, but I'm not going to uh, install this tool again because I already have, have it installed. So I'm just going to show you the steps, okay? Once you have Shodan X uh, clone, what you need to do is, let me just clear it out. You need to go to the folder, which is Shodan X. Just type CD, CD Shodan X. Hit enter, just type ls. And you will see that there is this file, which is setup.py, right? So we actually need to run this file. To run this file, what we can do is, when you can type Python 3, 
okay let's add sudo over here so that we won't be getting any kind of error then type setup.py and then type install that's all we need to do and just hit enter once you'll hit enter you'll see that the installation will get started and as you can see the installation is completed as well so it is saying that finish processing dependencies for showdown x and now we are good to go the final thing to verify whether this tool has been installed or not we can type showdown x like this showdown x and if you're seeing something like this which simply means that showdown x has been installed successfully without any issues right so i hope till now you don't have any issues right if you have any issues at any point feel free to let me know the, your issues in the comment section i'll be happy to help you out and now you can see that showdown x has been installed now let's try to use this awesome tool and let's see how we can uh, do a bunch of interesting stuff using this tool right for example you can see i have my website over here be practical sorry be practical dot tech okay i'm going to just go with https and uh, if we copy this domain itself and if we do a who is be practical dot tech okay you will see that uh, it has been uh, given over here that is be practical dot tech let's try to see what is the ip address so i'm going to just do a ping command ping be practical dot tech you can see this is the ip address on which it is resolving to 172.67.29.188 and if i copy this and if i type who is and if i hit enter you will see that this ip belongs to cloudflare which means that my website is running behind cloudflare web application firewall right so let's try to see that whether we'll be able to get the uh, you can say the uh, origin ip of this particular domain so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type showdown x and i'm going to type minus h we'll see all the available options to us right you can see we can use organization domain uh, subdomain so i'm going to go with domain right so i'm going to type showdown x domain minus h again let's see what are the available commands to us and you can see we need to specify minus t we can specify minus o we can uh, do redirects and all those things but for now we are interested in minus t so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have showdown x okay domain minus d and you can notice that i haven't added my credential into this particular tool right i'm just doing this directly and i'm going to type the domain name which is be practical dot tech and we just need to hit enter let's see what will happen after that you can see we have got this ip address and right over here you can also see that this was a query being used in showdown so host name is be practical dot tech and we actually queried for the ip address so that's why the facet is set to ip address right so ip so you can see we've got this ip address right over here right and if i this time the first thing that you'll notice that this ip address is very different from the first ip address that we've got using the ping command right and if i copy this now and if i paste it in the new tab like this you'll see that i am actually redirected to be practical right the same website over here which means this is the ip address of the server on which this application is hosted right so we, we have been able to uh, like get the origin ip address of this particular uh, domain right so first thing that we did is we were able to uh, bypass the web application firewall directly if i type who is and if i uh, let me just clear this first okay clear it out if i type who is let's paste this ip address okay so it's taking some time let me just stop it so you can see right over here that um, we are able to get the IP address behind this Cloudflare uh, web application firewall, right? So this is one use case of this particular tool. Now what we can do additionally is, let me just type showdown x minus h. We can also enumerate subdomains, right? And let's say that if I want to find all the IP address that is, uh, that is belonging to Sony, okay? Just for the demonstration. What I can do is I can simply type uh, showdown x domain minus t sony dot com hit enter let's wait for a few seconds okay you can see we've got this ip address 192.230.81.77 so let's try to run this again let's see if we're able to get in, get more data or not right so again we're getting the same data let's try to do this on a different domain let's say pvc.co.uk just for the demonstration again let's wait for a few seconds and let's see what will happen after that again we've got this ip address right over here right so now you can clearly see that this is how we can use this tool we type showdown x minus h right so you can see we have also this option to enumerate subdomains let's try to use this one 
show down x subdomain let's write minus s and you see we need to give the domain so let's try to do this minus t and i'm going to type sony.com again okay let's hit enter let's see if this, if it is able to enumerate all the subdomains okay so we've got this issue which is permission denied so let's try to run this with sudo okay with root user let's see what will happen after that so wait a few seconds and this time we can see that we have actually found subdomains uh, which is counting up to 444 right so we are able to enumerate 444 subdomains directly from showdown itself showdown X itself without using any credential and uh, if you go over here let's try to use the same command for the domain and this time i'm going to use sudo again let's hit enter and this time you see that we have got around thousand ip address that belongs to sony which is actually very crazy right because we haven't uh, if you know some basic stuff about so down you know that we need to have uh, we need to add our own credential to get these main results right but this is right over here you can see that we're able to query up to a thousand requests without any issue without given our credential actually right so this is how you can use this tool and each of these ip address actually belongs to sony uh, so we can use this ip address to do further more uh, reconnaissance and all those things if you really want to know that how we can do all those deeper reconnaissance then go ahead and check out my awesome course which is the art of web reconnaissance right so this course is available on udemy so i'm also giving the link in the description you can just check it out and you can just uh, learn all those interesting reconnaissance stuff like how we can dive deep into a target how we can do some advanced uh, fuzzing and all those things right so if you're interested then go ahead and check it out the link of the course is also given in the description and now this is how we can use this tool so again if you have any doubts if you have any issues then feel free to let me know and uh, do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going into cyber security and ethical hacking right so the link of the telegram channel is also displaying right over here as well as you can just click on the link which is given in the description and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thank you so much for watching